Got another question for the transition elements playlist. So this one covers electron configurations of transition element atoms and ions, reactions of copper compounds, disproportionation, identification of unknowns, and stereoisomerism. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So the nickel atom has this configuration. You can have the 3D8 and 4S2 the other way around if you want. To go to the nickel 2 plus ion, we need to lose the 4S2 electrons, which gives us that configuration there. Okay, so moving on to part D. I've skipped part B and C on the question because they had nothing to do with the transition elements. So start with reaction 1. It's this complex ion of copper that actually reacts with the ammonia. So the ligand substitution reaction that forms this deep blue solution we need to take four of the H2O ligands out and replace with four NH3 ligands, but it's got to be in the trans configuration, which means it's going to look like this with the water ligands 180 degrees apart. And just make sure you get your connectivity right. So in terms of the water, it's the O that's bonded to the copper 2 plus in the middle. And in terms of the ammonia, it's the N that bonds to the copper 2 plus. So we'll just finish off this with the reaction, which looks like that. Moving on to reaction two. So the copper starts out in the plus one oxidation state, and we're told it's a disproportionation reaction. So the copper one is oxidized and reduced. So in the blue solution, it's gonna be in the copper two plus form. So that's your oxidation step. And when it's the brown solid, it's the element copper, so it's in its zero oxidation state. So D is going to be copper sulfate. It's actually the CuH2062 plus ion that causes the blue colour. So you could have given that as an answer as well. And E is copper, the metal itself. So we'll just do the equation. So there's the equation there. And I've just put the oxidation numbers for the copper species above in red. So moving on to reaction three, I'll start with the equation because it's just a straightforward metal oxide reacting with an acid in a neutralization reaction to form a salt and water. So there's the equation there. That's the blue solution, the copper two nitrate. It's left to overnight in an evaporating basin and forms a hydrated salt F. So obviously we're gonna use this percentage data to calculate the formula for F. So just percentage over MR, we get the moles, three significant figures, remember. Divide by the smallest, which is that one there, so we get this ratio here. Now remember, we know it's copper two nitrate, we just need to establish how many waters of crystallization it's got. And the giveaway is the fact that it's got six H's, so it must have three H2O's. So that means F is CuNO3 twice dot three H2O.